game on the line. Number eight, Mikey. Ah, and that's in there for a strike. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. And that misses one and one. The one one. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Last breath for the Tigers. And he struck him out for round number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Hey, d -Roll, all those brooms the people brought to the ballpark today, they're waving them mightily right now. Yeah, I mean, what's better for adding a little extra swagger to a team than a series sweep? This was a big win for this club, and I expect to see them walking tall into their next series. The Metropolitans haven't been able to get anything going this season, and their record right now really tells a bleak story. Exactly. And at least for the sake of the fans, I would think they have to be looking to get something going very soon before their season really gets away from them. Let's look for them to dig deep today and see if they can start competing with some urgency before it's just too late. Yeah, you have to hope so, d -Row. The product they've been playing just hasn't been very good. So I know these players are looking to show what they're really capable of. Up next will be the power bat of Peter Alonzo. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Behind 0-2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Into the box now. Wilson Ramos. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball well outside. One run, four hits. One error in the game for the Mets thus far. Two balls and no strikes to Ramos. Do you take your chances in this situation as a hitter, knowing he's just missed outside two pitches in a row, and dive a little bit and try and drive something in the opposite field? Two, two and one. Two balls, one strike. out so we'll see if he can fare any better oh. and that misses low and away ball one Dear fastball got him to swing through it it's one and one one run four hits one error in the game for the Mets thus far High and deep to straightaway right. Bellinger going back on it to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Next for the Dodgers, Cody Bellinger. In previous duels with the Grom, just a one for nine. He's also gone down on strikes five times. No balls and a strike to count. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. 
This is what every pitcher likes to have. Another 0-2 count really puts the hitters on the defensive side in multiple ways. You can go fastball up. You can go breaking ball down. One of the keys getting ahead, and he's done a very good job of that so far. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. The left fielder, the left Ready with the one. first pitch. Here it comes. Yeah. And here's a fastball Peter, called for yeah. strike one. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. Fouled off. The next 0 2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Next up for Los the Angeles, batter, Chris three. Taylor comes Second into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Good take there to lay off the high Run fastball. Low and away as he misses again 2 and 0. Oh. Two out, nobody on. 2 and 1. 2 and 1. Two and two. Oh man, he took a swing and a half at that one. I think some frustration is creeping into these guys, so he might have just been trying to. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Here's Jed Lowry now. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Grounded to short. Seager has it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, number one. Shortstop. Settling in now, Ahmed, Ahmed Rosario. Oh, it was a walk in his last trip. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to back? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0 2 to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Now another one two. And he fouls this one off. Another one two delivery. A wave and a miss made him reach. And he will get there at first, so he reaches on the drop third strike. Now back. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring up the converted shortstop from his days at Stetson University, Jacob DeGrom. First delivery to him on the way. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. The second for one on the first, but not in time as he beats it out. The center fielder, number nine. So it's a runner at first with two men out and ready to bat next, the Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. From the stretch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. Nimmo is one of those prototypical left-handed bats that really excels against right-handed pitching. Sees the ball well coming from that side. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Popped up. Freeze in foul ground. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. 
Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the... Russell Martin now, one for two in the ball game thus far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And there's a swing and a miss by Martin as he falls behind now, 0-2. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball Ladies game. Justin right, Turner please. will pinch hit here, and he's, he's the potential the tying here. run. Number 10. Justin. Off speed oh. pitch, and this one runs Turner. in and nearly gets him here. He'll start this one at 269. 11 home runs, and he's driven in 24. In for a strike, it's one and one. Oh, ball in two strikes now. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. So it was a strikeout swinging. Justin fielder, Turner becomes out number two hey, this hey. inning. Popped him up. Alonzo moving to his left, and that retires the side. Your Ross Stripling has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 58. Now at the plate, Robinson Cano. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ground ball foul down the left side. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Backhanded. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting. And that'll bring in the speedy Keon Broxton. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. First pitch on its way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball a little bit deeper, and be willing to work deep into the count. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. On the move is Pollock. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batter. So two are gone in the Mets half of the eighth. And up steps the power bat of Peter Alonzo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to Muncy. Gets him. And with that. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Fastball on the inner third. Taken for a strike. Three. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Into the box now. Corey Seager who could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Next pitch here will be number 100 through 7 and a third. Man, I'd love to see a complete game. He's certainly on his way. If he can keep the number down, the pitch count down, he's got a shot at this. Yeah, yeah Dero, this is every manager's dream spot right now. You're, you're one out into the eighth inning. Your starter's giving you some good baseball. And you could go to your better relievers now, now towards First the end of the ball game. This is set up perfectly right now. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's gone two for eight. He also has one oh, home run. And there's number eight, one away. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ballgame, and the side is retired. 
Caleb Ferguson enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth.